So you just finished watching The Bad Batch, and you're like, Wow, Crosshair is super cool! So you load up Battlefront 2 and become a scout trooper on Scarif. This is awesome! I'm gonna get me some rebel scum! And you absolutely dominate the battlefront with your insane sniping skills. Except there's one problem. This is instant action, and all these rebels are bots. In PvP game modes like Blast, it takes a lot more skill to defeat all the sweaty tryhards. So I will teach you a special sniping technique that can destroy your enemies before they even know where you are. Quickscoping is a pretty easy thing to do as long as you know how to do it right. It is especially helpful for duelists who keep their sensitivity very high. And unlike most, I never lower my soldier or zoom sensitivity. But I'm still able to snipe well because of the quickscope method. It's important to note that quickscoping requires a special timing. Hyperactively spamming the zoom and shoot buttons will not help you at all. The first step of quickscoping is to point your crosshair at the enemy. If you see their class icon pop up, it means your aim is good and the auto assist will be able to lock onto your target. But in order for the auto assist to fully lock on, you must make sure to zoom all the way before firing. Although quickscoping is extremely powerful, it does have a few weaknesses. Enemies that are moving horizontally cannot be quickscoped, since trooper movement is faster than the lock on time. Additionally, enemies that are too close or too far cannot be accurately locked onto. So in these cases, it would be best to either use your E4 or snipe using the traditional method. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing. And if you want to know any other special tricks, write it down in the comment section below. Now get out there and try quickscoping for yourself.